Uh, hello guys. Today we're going to talk about the movie Mary Poppins, the original. Um, this one came out in 1964. It's rated G and it's 2 hours and 19 minutes long. It has 7.8 out of 10 on IMDb with about 161,000 ish user votes. And, uh, 88% on Metacritic with 111 critics, of course. It, it stars Julie Andrews. Let's see, once this stops loading here. Who was also known? Jeez, there's a lot more steps to looking people up through the laptop. Sometimes I feel like phones have advanced too far, far away from how laptops are organized. She was also in *The Sound of Music*. Dick Van Dyke, who was had the Dick Van Dyke show, and the director Robert Stevenson. He also did um. What else did he do? Um, let's see. Uh, King Solomon's Mines. Um, so, um, that's for IMDb. For Rotten Tomatoes, once it loads here, It has 98% by critics, 50, 53 critics, and 86% by audiences with about 250,000-ish user audiences. The critics' consensus on Rotten Tomatoes is a lavish modern fairy tale celebrated for its amazing special effects, catchy songs, and Julie Andrews' legendary performance in the title role. On the Just Watch app, uh, the movie is available to stream on Disney+. Plus. It's available to rent and buy on Apple TV, Amazon, Google Play, YouTube, Vudu, Microsoft Store, and AMC On Demand. And it was released on DVD in 2016. I believe it was a Disney classic release. I don't know if they had any DVD releases before then. It was one of those famous, like, Disney VHS tape collection stuff they did. So that probably hold it over from DVD release for a spell. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, I actually, I actually first watched this, I think, actually, I think it was last year, actually, actually, I watched this. I don't think I've done a review on this yet, and I ha if I have, then, well, <laughs> hold on a sec. Um, let me look, actually, while I'm doing this. But, um, and as I'm... Okay, good, I did it. <laughs> that would have been awful. But, yeah, um, oh, this is a classic. I, I've never seen it before before I saw it last year, and it's a classic. Um, what I love about it most is actually is the special effects. I mean, I'm a special effects-aholic. I love me some good special effects, um, especially practical stuff. The special effects in here, if you want to know how to make a great special effects film without relying on little very little to no cgi or blue screen green screen effects or whatever this is a film to look for without a doubt i mean it's just oh i love this movie it's a great movie it, it is it is everything everyone said it would there's really no negative things in it at all like i just love everything about it and to be honest, the person I probably relate to most, ironically, is probably the dad in a lot of ways. Because the dad character, he has to work all the time. He's very obsessed with order and structure. And then when he finally does, like, I can't, I don't want to give anything away in this. But something happens to him and he kind of thinks about things a little bit. And, and it's very relatable. And to be honest, I think, and, and. I think this movie's just relatable in general. And I love and Julie Andrews. I think what makes her great in this role is really just her charm. She is incredibly charming in this role. This is a charming movie in general. I mean, it's definitely an example of of Disney creating something magical. That that's what I love about like when a Disney movie gets it right, it can be a, a, one of the best cinematic experiences ever. You know, Disney just knows how to get those moments. I mean, they're still doing it today with Marvel. I mean, freaking Endgame had huge moments in there. And that's Disney-related, you know? Disney makes so many great moments come to life. I just... And we make jokes about them, but at the end of the day, they... I mean, they're not perfect. The Disney remakes are 
horrendous. But I do agree that they, when it, when shit comes to shit, they know how to they know how to pack it in and put something together. And this movie's a great example of that. I mean, they made other films like this, other era, Ben Ops and Boomsticks, was also directed by the same guy who did this, and that one was kind of similar in that regard. I haven't seen it myself, but I know of it. Um, I think the only thing about this movie to keep in mind is that it was made, even though it was made in the 60s, it does take place in a time period that's more older. So keep that in mind. I know some people slightly criticize the kids are a little bit of a blank slate, but to be honest, they're children of that time period. I, they, they work well enough. Oh, I do remember seeing so many ads for this movie on like VHS tapes when I watched like, like Winnie the Pooh VHS tapes or anything Disney related VHS tapes. There would be commercials for getting this movie. Like a special VHS edition or some shit like that. It was like, it didn't make me want to watch it, but I never really did. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that it was just one of those things where I just kind of just took it for granted. I, unfortunately, I take a lot of good movies for granted because some some great classic films are just everywhere all the time. They're always in the conscious mind of culture that you never think to yourself to go out of your way to actually sit down and watch them from beginning to end. You just kind of like, oh yeah, Mary Poppins, yeah, 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 I know them, or whatever. Or Star Wars is another example of that as well. You know, you don't you don't truly recognize how great something is until you actually sit down and watch it. Just go, getting by by references and cultural familiarity just isn't enough. Even though it feels like it's enough, it's not. It's very easy to forget that. But yeah, overall, I really love, I really do love this movie. I do recommend it. There's not much I can say about it, really. It's just, this. everything's great about it. acting effects, the music numbers and everything. I mean, sure, if you're really, really, really nitpick, you could probably find a few little things that don't look quite right in the effects department or whatnot. But to be honest, this movie was made in 64. I mean, come on. <laughs> You got it. I mean, there's movies made nowadays that have mistakes like that left in. So I'm not. I'm not getting too OCD on that. So, yeah, this is a very solid movie. A, a classic. Um, definitely watch it. It's streaming. It's probably out on DVD too. Um, so you may be tempted to watch the Mary Poppins Returns things. Um, despite what the numbers say. I know of this movie, I've seen like what it basically is, and I wouldn't watch it, at least not until you watched the original, at the bare minimum. But yeah, um, that's all I have to say about it, it's a great solid movie, I definitely recommend it for sure. And yeah guys, uh, thanks for watching, um, in case you want to chat with me, Mike, or anyone else at the Campy Company, you don't want to use the YouTube comment section, we do have a couple options. First one is we have a Discord channel. You can find a link to that in the about page slash about section of our channel. We also have a discussion tab on our channel as well. You can access that through a PC or laptop computer. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the videos, and have a good day.